So I wanna to talk to you about 3D formulas. 3D formulas are a good way to summarize data across multiple worksheets or even workbooks. So for instance, in this workbook called Formulas, which I've included in the resources section for this lecture, I have sales information for three employees, Bob, Sarah, and KC. Now you'll notice that taking a look at these three, they're pretty much all set up the same way. It's sales information for the first half of the year for products A, B, and C. Well, what I want to do is I want to summarize all that information onto the summary sheet. So for January, I want to know the total sales between Bob, Sarah, and KC for products A, B, and C. And it's really easy to do. Let me show you how. So I want to make sure that I'm clicked inside of B2 here. These are my January sales figures for the A product. And what I'm going to do here on the summary sheet is type in equals and then start typing in my sum function. Once I see it highlighted in my little drop down, I can go ahead and hit tab on my keyboard. So Excel is going to acknowledge that I want the sum function and it adds in the open parentheses for me. Then I'm going to click on Bob's tab, the January A sales there, and that's inside of B2. So notice in my formula bar, now I have equals the sum of Bob B2. All right, so now I'm going to hold down the shift key on the keyboard and click on KC's tab down at the bottom. Now take a look at my formula bar. I've got equals the sum of Bob through KC B2. And that's perfect. That's what I want to add up. So I'll go ahead and click on enter on my keyboard and there's the total 186. So if I take a look at Bob, which is 26, Sarah, which is 73, and KC, which is 87, then that, yes, that does equal 186. All right, let me show you one more time how I did that. This time I'll work with the February sales for A. So one more time, I'm clicked inside of B3 here, February, on the summary sheet. I'll type in equals and then sum, hit tab, click on Bob's tab, the sales for February, hold down the shift key, and click on KC's tab. Again, notice my formula bar. I have equals the sum of Bob through KC B3. And that's perfect. So again, I'll click on enter, and it gave me 137. Now I could do the same thing over and over again, 18 times to fill out the rest of the table, or I can just copy the formula down, and that's what I'll do. I'll click on my B2 there, which are my January A sales. I will use my fill handle and drag it over to the right, grab my fill handle one more time, and drag it down. And now my summary sheet is filled. Now one thing to point out here is that the now one thing to point out here is that the function is on a physical range. So it's saying to look at the worksheets Bob through KC. So if I take Sarah's worksheet and I move it outside of that range to the other side of KC, now let's take a look at the summary figures. See how they've changed? Because again, I'm just looking for Bob through KC. Sarah is no longer in that range, so her information is not added up with the rest of the summary. So just be aware that when you create these 3D formulas, it's looking at literally one tab through another. So if you move tabs around, it might come out of the whole formula. All right, I'll go ahead and put Sarah back. Just click on her tab and move her right between Bob and KC. Head on back to my summary tab and my numbers have updated. And that is your 3D formula.